Good Monday morning, Hollywood. Here's what you need to know. Looks like the dawn of the Planet of the Apes has been a most lucrative start to that pick's day. As Deadline's Anita Bush reports, for the second weekend in a row, the Fox distributed sequel has topped the box office with 36 million this weekend. On a distinctly underperforming weekend that was down 28% from last year, newbie horror flick The Purge Anarchy pulled in around 29 million, down from the 34 million that the first Purge made last year. Fellow opener Disney's animated sequel Planes, Fire and Rescue made about 18 million, while R rated comedy Sex Tape pulled in around 15 million. Hello! Transformers Age of Extinction ended the top five this weekend with 9.6 million over three days. By the way, in just over a month into its release, the Michael Bay directed pick is on the verge of a $1 billion global box office. That's very Optimus Prime for Paramount. We're broke. I knew it. There's going to be a lot of eyes on Netflix today, and I don't mean binging on House of Cards Season 2. The streaming giant will report its second quarter financials later today after the market closes. Now, Deadline's David Lieberman will of course be on the case with the numbers, as well as what CEO Reed Hastings has to say. With 31 Emmy nominations, series Orange is the New Black in the Spotlight, a Chelsea Handler talk show, and more international expansion on the horizon, Netflix is moving on a lot of fronts right now. But what will the future bring with HBO now going to stream some of its shows on Amazon, Comcast buying Time Warner Cable, and Fox chomping to purchase Time Warner? We might have some answers to those questions later today, so keep checking back on Deadline.com. Earlier this morning saw Star Wars Episode 7 director J.J. Abrams release a short video offering donating fans a chance to visit the set and be in the flick, or get to win a special advanced screening of the film in their hometown before it comes out next year. What's that doing here? With proceeds going to UNICEF, the intentions were good. But with Comic-Con set to start this week, the timing was Jedi perfect. While Star Wars isn't scheduled to make an appearance at the annual Geek Love-In in San Diego this year, it feels like everything else tentpole in Hollywood is, on both the big and the small screen. Heavyweights The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones will of course be there again, as will the seasoned vets of Expendables 3. They'll be among the offerings July 24th to the 27th. Fox's upcoming Wayward Pines, and FX's Sons of Anarchy will be there for probably the last time as it heads into its last season. And a show of force is expected from Marvel, with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the upcoming Agent Carter on the TV front, and Guardians of the Galaxy coming out soon on the big screen, and Avengers 2 next year. We all know that no one is the king of Comic-Con the way Robert Iron Man Downey Jr. is, so expect some sparks there. Deadline will also be in San Diego in force, with Mike Fleming Jr., Jen Yamato, Anthony D'Alessandro, and myself hitting the halls all week. Which means that Deadline now will be going a little dark as we Comic-Con this week. With that in mind, keep checking back for more video news from the Deadline team. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.